The people running Niles schools know all about fiscal emergencies. They've spent most of the century in one. And since the levy failed in November, Niles is facing another fiscal emergency, which is the why the school board met tonight to discuss another levy in May. First News reporter Tyler Trill was at that meeting. He joins us live in the studio with our top story at 10. And that levy the board is considering would generate $1.3 million. It's a smaller levy than the one that failed in November, but the one difference is cuts to the school are coming. District, the question of an additional tax levy. Per the Niles School Board had a special meeting to talk about putting a 10 year 5.8 mil tax levy on the ballot in May. Ohio's Department of Education is asking for a plan that shows Niles School operating in a positive balance for at least the next three school years. What they're basically telling us that if we don't have three years of a positive balance, we will end up in fiscal watch. I mean, Niles Superintendent Anne Marie Thigpen says Niles schools have a $340,000 deficit in the upcoming school year, and the deficit continues to grow afterwards. The new levy's millage is smaller than the one from last fall. It generates 700,000 fewer dollars. The big difference is seven jobs will be cut in the future, including four teachers and one administrator. However, we thought maybe with a combination, um, hopefully our taxpayers can understand we're, we're trying to do what's best for our kids. The state put Niles School in fiscal watch from 2003 to 2016, and the district is currently in fiscal caution. School leaders asked for a 9.25 mil levy in November, and it was defeated by a wide margin. 70% voted no. We can't go back out for the same amount. We'd love to, but I don't think, if we were maybe a little bit closer, 40%, 60%, 45%, 55%, but when our taxpayers tell us at 70% we don't want to pass this levy, we have to listen to them. Placing the school levy on May's ballot will be on the school board's agenda at next week's school board meeting, and it is expected to pass. From the studio, Tyler Trill, 27 First News at 10.